be ready. Change can happen in an instant. Check on the BBC Weather app. Live from London, this is BBC News. President Biden leaves Israel after pledging unwavering American support 11 days after the Hamas attacks, but warns Israel not to act on rage. But I caution this while you feel that rage, don't be consumed by it. After 9-11, we were enraged in the United States. While we sought justice and got justice, we also made mistakes. Joe Biden also said Israel has agreed humanitarian assistance can begin to move from Egypt into Gaza. Israel and Hamas blame each other for the blast that killed hundreds at a Gaza hospital. In the last hour, the White House says Israel wasn't responsible. Anger, though, across the Middle East with protests outside the US Embassy in Beirut and in other cities. We'll bring you the latest from our teams right across the region. And I'm Lise Doucette in southern Israel here throughout the day. Israel has continued its artillery and airstrikes against the Gaza Strip in preparation for what's widely expected to be a ground attack. Hello and welcome to Verified Live. The US president has wrapped up a whirlwind trip to Tel Aviv, saying Israel has agreed to let aid into the besieged Gaza Strip from Egypt. This was confirmed soon after by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office, which said no aid will enter from Israel as long as its hostages aren't returned, but it will not block the delivery of food, water and medicines from Egypt. Joe Biden's visit was overshadowed by Tuesday night's devastating explosion at a hospital in Gaza City.